Hello there everyone and welcome to Coding Else. In this video, we will be learning how to send a mobile SMS using Node.js and Fast2SMS. So without wasting much time, let us begin. Let me in, yeah. So everyone, just a quick overview of what is already done here. And we have created a send SMS named folder for our project and open the same folder in Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So let's begin with creating our node project by running the command npm init to initialize our node project. Hit enter and keep hitting enter for all the questions because it won't matter much for this tutorial. So you can see now that a package.json file is created over there and it says that our main file will be index.js. So let's create the index.js file and now we can install the package required so we can we are going to make an express server over here so we'll be installing express over in the command npm install express and hit enter as you'll see it takes a few seconds to install express in your project fair enough it's taking longer than usual well now it is installed so now we have express available to our project and I recommend you to download one more snippet. Just go in your extensions and search for JavaScript. You'll see a snippet named JavaScript ES6 code snippets by Kalalampos and Caripides. So install this and it will be really helpful because I'll be using a few quick things. For instance, I'll be using this REQ and hit enter. So you can see it says const express require express. This is a snippet to fastly require any package in your node project so now we have express here we can have the const app and we can create an app for our from our express instance and now we can make our app to listen on port 3000 and whenever it listens we can say to the log server is sorry we need then what it comes over there server is listening on port 3000 if you save this file go to your terminal and run the command node space index.js you'll see it says server is listening on port 3000 but to make this development process a more efficient and watch this file for changes we can install another package and which is called as nodemon so run the command npm install nodemon and since it is a developer dependency we'll say save dev, save dev and hit enter you'll see it takes a few seconds but as soon as it install you'll see the real purpose of it now we can go in our package.json file and change the script and create a script for our developer production uh, developer use so which is we can create a script for dev start and make the dev script to be nodemon space index.js so basically whenever you run the script dev start it will start watching the index.js file for changes and run the node over it so now you can see okay nodemon is still not installed which is bad and bad because we have changed the package.json file and kind of played with that now we'll need to do that again so run this command and wait for it to install nodemon in our system So now nodemon is also installed in our system and our script is also ready over there. So we can start listening and watching the index.js file. Run the command npm run dev start and you can see whenever I change anything on this index.js file, for instance I'll change the P to capital P, it will restart the server for us and automatically publish the changes. Now we also want our server to listen for get requests on slash which is actually the home page and then we need a callback function for this get which is request which takes two parameters request and response and then we can send a response which is hello 
save this file you can see the server is automatically restarted again you can go to your browser and create a get request on the port 3000 for localhost on slash which gives hello as the output now that our server is listening for get requests and also can listen for post requests in the future we can create and set up a view engine for our project so let's open the command prompt and run the command npm installs we have to close the server and run the command npm install EJS. We'll be using EJS throughout this tutorial, which is the abbreviation for embedded JS. So it is pretty much a HTML like view engine for Node. And if you don't use it, I'll show you it is very easy to use it. And we'll be using it just like HTML for this project. So now we can go and rather than uh, we can ask our server to actually use the view engine which is EJS okay so it makes sense we asking our server app to use view engine which is EJS and now we create a folder for our views and we can have our first view which will be the pretty much the only view we'll be using for this project index.js EJS index.ejs now if you not do not use Emmet I recommend you go to extensions and install Emmet which is very useful here it is and it is I guess it is it comes inbuilt with Microsoft Visual Studio code if it does not you can just simply install it from the extension store so with Emmet you can have this exclamatory mark hit enter and it creates this pretty small boilerplate for your project you can change the title to message sender okay we are creating a simple app and now we will be creating our form for sending the message so let's have a form and the action will be send message looks nice inside the form we will need a form group so this is again a emit abbreviation dot form group creates a division with form group as a class and then we can have an input not input rather a label first for number and it says enter number then we need an input let's have a text type input for the number give it ID number and a name of number then we can have another form group for our message Hit enter get the label ready this is for our message say enter message then we have the input gain text type the name will be message ID will be message and we will need a submit button over here so we can have an input submit the value will be send message so if I save this file and go to our index.js and rather than saying rest to response dot send hello we'll saying response dot render so whenever there is a respond render our view which is index dot ejs now if you go over there and run your server again for development in npm run then start you can see in the browser on reloading and we have a problem over there it says use and we are using but rather we should not use we should set we are setting I'm sorry this is a pretty small mistake I do a lot of times so if we rather than use we need app dot set for our view engine we are setting the view engine not, not using the view engine and if you see the node has already restarted your server just reload this page and yes there is our form which is not pretty beautiful but that's not the purpose of this tutorial the purpose of the tutorial was to actually see how we can send message using the backend in our node.js server and not the UI part so I'll be keeping the UI as simple as this for this project now we can take risk take a post request on this send message for our server so app dot post for send message and we again need that callback with request and response as the parameters and we are going to use and access the form elements the input values with the request.body 
but this is not accessible until we turn off URL and extend URL encoded extended. So we go here and set up the middleware app.use and yes this time it is app.use I'm not doing a mistake. You use app.use URL encoded express.url encoded and we say we pass in the property extended to be false and it's done now if you go over and lock the request body and run the server refresh this and pass in some number over there and a message just this is a nice message but if you send you can see it is reload it's continuously loading but because we have not given a response yet but you can see it is logging the number and the message so we are able to access this request or body over there for now we can stop loading the browser so that it doesn't give an error message over there and we can close our server for now now I'll need you to see what are we going to use to send our message so to send our message we'll be using this fast to sms.com which is a which is for India only right now and I'll make sure it doesn't log in because my auto logging so if you see over there you can see uh, it has a free rupees 50 credit of a sign up and it is pretty much very much amount of money for your project such as if you want to do going for a hackathon or you're creating a school project or a college project you will need some service with some uh, extra features and you don't need thousands of messages a 250 messages would do with 50 rupees you can actually send 250 messages in this service so this is for India now you need you simply need to log in over here I'm refreshing it so that it reloads my password and login and I am yes I am hiding my phone number so it says invalid password let me just enter the password and Boom, I'm in. So you can see the window is pretty clear. You can send a message from over here by entering the sender ID. And the sender ID here, you can actually add a sender ID by buying a sender ID over here for one month or for six months. And I can tell you the service is really great. So if you are going for a professional project, you can go with fast to SMS uh, specifically for India. But for this video, we'll be using this fast to SMS and you can send a message from over here and again, I'm hiding the number over there. So you can send the message and it will simply send the message. But this is not our purpose. We are going to use Node.js to ever send our message. So I'm going to tell you something very important. Uh, we need to have our API key. So here you can see this is my API key and this will be used in our project so just copy this and let's close this over here right now just close it and we can go to our project we are going to install env which is a package used to hold environment variables our api key is generally something which we do not send to the server where the server is located directly and we do not want to upload it to our git also so we create a env file which holds our API key and we can set it to this API key and just paste it over there save this file and go to index.ejs to oh sorry index.js to configure our uh, environment so we can do this by requiring the dot env and we can then say dot config and now we have access to this API key through process.env.api key. Now, to send this message, we are going to use a npm package named fast2sms. So, if you open fast2sms in npm.js, you can see the readme is pretty clear. It clearly defines what we have to do to send a message. Just install, install fast2sms using this command, which is wrong using this command actually so npm install fast to sms and hit enter so it will install fast to sms in your project and after that we can just use fast to sms with the same way we use it and then we can have the options for for require uh, the required options are 
message our API key and the numbers to whom we want to send the message so I'll be using my your phone app to show you that the message is received to my phone number and uh, this will be pretty much uh, it for this video we will be sending the message using this thing so we don't need to change these things this is what we're going to use and we can have the response object and we will be having the response object and we will be disabling the show logs over there in this video so now that fast to sms is installed we can require it over here so fast to sms is equals to require sorry fast to sms save this file and when we say uh, we get this mass uh, re post request we can say request dot okay not request dot rather fast to sms dot send message and we need to pass in the options the first option was as we can see authorization so we send the authorization which is inside our process dot env dot api underscore key so if you check the dot env it is api underscore key then we need to pass in the message and the message is the message is in request dot body dot message and then we need to have the numbers and for now we are having a single number but we still need to pass it using an array so we are going to pass it the numbers and it will be in an array the first element request dot body oh my god body dot number so so now we can actually send the message but we are not yet receiving the object so I'm gonna say const response is equals to await and for await we are going to make this callback function uh, async function now that we have the response object we can actually send back this response object which will tell us if the message is sent or not so we are going to just send back the response object and now if you save this file and go to your command prompt and restart the server by using npm run dev start hit enter and now you go back to your message sender and type in your phone number and type the message hey coding owls and click on the send message button you can see in the command prompt it says message sent successfully and the object that we have sent back to the server or to the request as a response is returned to request id and the message sent successfully to non dnd numbers and now as you can see in the screenshot over here in the right side of the screen that the message is received in my phone number so guys this is how you send a message using fast to sms api and the fast to sms package in node.js just with the two lines of code and guys this is pretty much it for this video if you want me to make a video on some specific topics of your choice please let me know in the comments below and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe and hit the bell icon also share this video with your colleagues and like if you love this video and as always thanks for watching